Good morning, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales, uh, doing you a short walk around video of the new Mary Fisher 1295 Fly. Uh, it's the latest in the Mary Fisher range. Um, it is a bit different to your standard Mary Fisher, uh, which you'll see as we go aboard and uh, let me show you the uh, layout of the boat uh, and what she has to offer. Uh, it's very early in the morning, it's Dusseldorf Boat Show 2023. Uh, it's nice and early, so the cleaners are still cleaning the boats and so forth. Um, but let's get Nate to take that opportunity to uh, take you uh, round the boat. So whilst we're here, as you can see, you've got this nice fold down platform to the, the uh, starboard side of the boat, which is really nice, especially if you're moored up under anchor in a bay. Uh, makes a good platform for diving off or putting some extra uh, seating there, if you like, and looking over the water. And then if we just come round, let's have a look at the, uh, how, the rain, how she sits in the range. So here she is, right at the top there, um, and then we go down to the 1095 fly, the 1095, 895, 795, 695, and then the 605 there as well. So, engine-wise, you can have the choice of twin uh, 4250s, or you can go with the triple setup of the Yamaha 300 horsepower V6. Uh, and these ones are with the electric steer as well as electric fly-by-wire throttle. Um, we believe that the three, the, having the triple is probably your best option to go for on this boat. Uh, and these engines are the white ones done by Yamaha, which are an upgrade as well. So let's have a look onto the cockpit uh, and access and so forth to the boat. So we've got a nice little bathing platform here. Nice level access straight into the cockpit itself, um, and that gives you straight a good look up the side deck of the vessel. And it's a really good side deck with sword, side door access, uh, which is a real nice feature from the helm seat. And then as we come round the cockpit, we've also got uh, an access door straight off of the boat if you're on a fueling pontoon or linear mooring. So the cockpit seating, well, look at that, really is. Uh, a good L-shaped uh, cockpit seating, uh, nice big table for entertaining with friends at, uh, and it really is a nice big space uh, to enjoy time. And on the back here, where the kitchen, because the galley is aft, uh, which is really nice so if you are entertaining, it means you can spend time with, the, with your friends and not sort of going down below to go to the galley to do salads or whatever you might be doing or further drinks. And you've also got this bar here that pulls out as well, so that's a really nice feature to have. Uh, and there's a really good little storage area just under the floor here, because obviously she's got no engines underneath because she's on outboard, uh, as well as having a nice big uh, lazarette area just under the floor here as well. So let's pop inside. As you can see, it really is, they've sort of lifted uh, the quality of the 1295. Uh, it really has a nice feel to it. It's got a bit more of an exclusive feel than your standard uh, Mary Fishers. Uh, and the other nice thing here, we've got the drawer fridge, uh, which can be either two fridge or fridge and freezer. And plenty of storage, storage above the above the counter there, as well as above the galley here. Uh, and this boat's been equipped with the fusion system. And you've got a different colour of wood, uh, which is nice, and it really just blends in nicely with the whole boat and the feel of her. So as we go forward, we've got a nice U-shaped saloon seating area just here. And obviously we've got these drop down windows which just get so much light in and when you're aboard the boat it really gives you that feeling like you're sitting sort of right on the water as it were not having to peer over the top especially if you're mooring uh, and the weather's not so clement you can sit inside and still enjoy the view around you and then on the helm here lovely helm set up this has got the joystick control on it as well you've got the two displays so you can have all your engine uh, data uh, up on one screen uh, and then your GPS on the other. Obviously it all depends on how you want to set that up. You have very, you have a lot of options with this as well uh, on here. Um, she is also equipped with a bow thruster as well. Then just over here we've got a pop-up section for your TV. You put your TV on a bracket and it'll literally just spring up uh, and then you've got the TV to watch. Uh, and let's just swing round. You can then see this nice side door. The width of that is just superb. It really is superb. There's a lot of space there. And then just behind the uh, helm seat here, we have got plenty of storage for uh, your gin and your wine and so, so forth. 
The other th nice thing to notice in this boat is it's not really got any direct lighting. It's got indirect lighting. So it really does give a nice feel, a quality feel in the boat itself. So uh, let's have a look down below and let's just see what cabin space we have. So the staircase is lovely and wide. You can walk down it really easily. And as we go forward, we then come to your master cabin, which is a lovely light airy space. You've got plenty of light coming into this cabin. Again, plenty of storage with your wardrobes uh, on either, well, one wardrobe on this side and then storage on the other side with these great big windows. Uh, and also the other nice touch is this uh, lovely big mirror in the master cabin as well. The other nice thing, first on the Mary Fisher, is your ensuite head with a nice separate shower door so you can bring your bits and pieces into the boat um, without having to fill them up with water and then come out of the shower and find yourself a nice dry towel. So, and then let's come round because this is a three cabin boat, don't forget. So you've got your day head, which is just here. Uh, on that, again, there is a door into the shower area as well. So again, you can keep your, your wash bag dry and so forth with the optional electric toilets. And then if we come into one of the aft cabins, here we go, you can have this set up as two singles, uh, or you can slide the bed across to make that into a double. And again, plenty of light with these big windows, uh, and also nice big storage area as well. And I think if I turn the camera around this way, you really see how wide and nice the flow of the boat is with that staircase. And then just off to the side here is the other aft cabin, Plenty of light coming in, plenty of ventilation, uh, and again, this can be two singles or a double. And the other nice thing is you also, in both of these cabins, have got a little seating area as well. So if you have got guests on board or, or children or so forth, they have got their own area uh, to go to, which is really nice. Um, so let's just go back up here, and what we'll do is we'll go up onto uh, the flybridge, which will give you uh, a feel for the whole show uh, from up there. We're in Hall 1. Um, so uh, let's have a little wander up and see uh, what the flybridge has to offer us uh, here on the Mary Fisher 1295. Lovely, nice access, nice and clear. It's got a solid lid that comes down as here well. Here we are, we're now up on the flybridge. You've got this lovely uh, U-shaped seating area, great place for entertaining with friends and family. Uh, and on here, we've also got uh, a flybridge galley with the option of a uh, grill hot and cold uh, water, and also a drawer fridge just down there as well. Um, nice thing to note on this, you can change this seat here to become a forward facing seat. So when you're cruising at sea, you can easily fit another two, possibly three people on there uh, whilst cruising along. And then this area here, which you can see, makes into a lovely sun pad as well. And if we just come round, obviously, your navigation is repeated up here. There is a screen for the engine system uh, and also there is all your controls and so forth. And then if we just look forward and we'll go and have a look in a minute, we've got you there to the uh, onto the bow with a lovely sun pad and seating area. Uh, it really is a tremendous space. And whilst we're here, let's just have a quick spin round of Hall 1 at uh, Dusseldorf Boat Show 2023. You can see all the lovely boats all on display here uh, and all whole, pretty much the whole of the Jano range is here at the show, including the uh, Mary Fisher uh, Sport range as well. Let's go and have a look on that uh, on the back, back down on the uh, cockpit and let's take a walk up the uh, starboard side deck. Obviously got an offset cabin like the whole of the, the uh, Mary Fisher range. It gives you lovely easy access, especially when you're going to do those fenders and so forth uh, as you come in and out of the marina. And look at this space up here, it really is just tremendous. Uh, and obviously that's allowing us to have all that space down below as well. Um, and as you can see, this lovely uh, sun pad area for three, three people to easily enjoy. And then even further seating just on the bow here. Really does offer a lovely location on the boat. Ideal for when you're moored up uh, and enjoying the... Uh, enjoying the scenery and being on the water. Hope the video helps. This boat is here at Dusseldorf as displayed. She's just over 600,000. Um, but please give us a call if you want any further information, more depth figures on the boat.